additional criminal charges have been filed by the special counsel against former President Trump. As America woke up, one story was dominating the headlines. The latest version of this indictment alleges Trump was involved in a plan to delete security video. Could this be the news that derails his re-election campaign? It all comes down to these boxes. They were discovered in Donald Trump's home in Florida after his presidential term had ended. But it's claimed the boxes contain top secret and classified material, which he shouldn't have had. So the new charges President Trump faces include claims he encouraged an employee to delete CCTV footage, that he discussed top secret evidence publicly, and that he knowingly tried to obstruct investigators. The former president already faces 34 felony charges for a hush money case and has been charged in a civil defamation case too. I mean, it's incredibly serious. These two new charges which relate to him asking a maintenance worker at Mar-a-Lago to erase surveillance tape carry collectively 60 potential years in federal prison. So this is not just a political problem for him. This is a matter of his own liberty. He could be facing a very long prison term. It's the number of years Trump could face in jail if convicted on all counts of the classified documents case. But the impact this is having on his Republican base isn't being seen at the moment. We'll fight him in the corporations. We'll fight him in the schools. We will never, ever surrender to the woke mob. Ron DeSantis, the Florida governor, is Trump's main rival, but is struggling to shift opinion polls in his favor. Despite all of the charges, Donald Trump remains favorite. Today, the former president labeled the prosecutor in this case deranged. His legal team describing the case as a witch hunt. What this means for Donald Trump's liberty remains to be seen, but he has no plans to abandon his race for the White House. Warren Nettleford, 5 News.